Hello guys, I am in one of the oldest cities in Europe. Am I in Athens or Rome? No, I am actually in Bulgaria, in the capital of Sofia. Yes. And this time I'm not alone. I'm joined Whoa. by David. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna explore this 5,000 year old city. And... Uh... Ah, yeah. No, oh. it isn't. I'm an idiot, forget it. No? Okay. <laughs> We are here uh, somewhere in the center area, but like a little bit off where all the restaurants are. And currently we want to go for dinner because we haven't eaten since, what, 7 a.m.? So yeah, this is our plan. And then we're gonna see the sights, which should be pretty cool and interesting because because the city is so old, it has seen so many different times and, and, and so many different cultures and therefore uh, we should see some little hidden gems here and there. But f like first impression is it's pretty Eastern European. I know that <laughs> you in the comments told me, no, no, we are not Eastern European, we're mm. Southern European. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Southern European then. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, it's not really safe, yeah, guys. It's, it's, fine. Ah, it's fine. And here is an Apple store. Apple is for sure happy with this, it's putting their logo on a random absolutely store. Absolutely official store. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Bulgaria last year alone and I had a pretty good time. Like, I didn't know anything, anybody. And I felt pretty good and safe and welcome. So, let's see if it's the same in Sofia. And of course, as always in the Balkans, old Mercedes everywhere, which, as you know, I approve of that. <laughs> so we're not really in the in the area which you know Sofia from. Yeah, it's it's actually a bit of like back roads. See, we always immediately. Immediately. Antique <laughs> variat. Look at that cool dog, man. Yeah, also these old car toys are cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, I'm sure I'm sure Daniel would know something to buy there. Oh yeah, he would. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Look okay. how friendly people are here. <laughs> it never had happened in any of my vlogs. No. No. Where? Where did it happen? LA, where the people shouted out of the car. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Like something with New York. <laughs> Yeah, that was a friendly guy, yeah. This house looks very cool. Very cool. I think it actually is something official because the European flag is there as well. Yeah, it's nicely renovated. But come on, did you really need to, to put the ACs the AC. on that building? What? Like, oh man, come oh, on! Look at all the ACs! It ruined everything. <laughs> but this is a, a common thing actually on the older buildings. They always put the AC not on the on the roof, yeah. but like they have to put them on the, yeah, it's on the windows. A building at the yeah, that is a bit of a shame, isn't it? And a brand new S-Class. This dude probably has something to do with this. Just a guess. Yeah, that is that is for sure either an opera or a theater or something yeah. like that. And as you see, it's being renovated. Yes. Nice to see that. Because as you told me as well in the comments, uh, it's unfortunately the case in Bulgaria that a lot of money isn't there to renovate those old beautiful buildings and the, the money gets <laughs> lost somewhere in some guy's pocket and stuff. And that's sad to hear. So at least here they're doing something. And here you have Narodny Teatr Ivan Vazov. Oh, it's a, a theater. Yeah, I would have figured out theater, but that was it. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Beautiful. I did actually read that Ivan Vasov was a Bulgarian 
uh, poet and writer so that's why they probably named the theater after him but now we still have to go to the main attraction that Sofia is famous for around the world so see you there but before that we have to to walk through this park which yeah there are some people out you have to say it's a Monday and it's pretty chilly so not a lot of people are gonna sit here and you know do picnics of course but yeah that's a really beautiful building right behind us here was the Ministry of Defense I didn't really want to shove the camera in the face of the police guys but uh, yeah, that's, that was the Ministry of Defense, and here is the Justizministerium. Why is it in German? Justizministerium. What the fuck? Why is it actually? That's well, interesting. German is apparently an important language because so many uh, Austrian and German businesses are doing business in Bulgaria. Yeah. Probably that's why. Probably, yeah. Before I can cross the road, this is the Russian church, Nikolai church, maybe if I remember. But we're not gonna check it out yet because the Nevsky Cathedral is right here on the right. So we're gonna check that out. And here you have actually a Russian restaurant, the Ruski restaurant. Quite fitting, right next to the Russian cathedral or Russian church, you have a Russian restaurant. Damn, when is it gonna... It takes a bit. Quite a busy street here. Yeah. So here behind me is Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Now, it was actually built to remember the liberation of Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire by the Russians. It is called uh, Nevsky Cathedral because Nevsky was like a, a Russian holy man as far as I know. I'm not too familiar with the history of that church. All I know is it's a very old one. And it's a Christian one, maybe? But this here is the, the real thing, the, the one cathedral which a lot of people know. And that's what makes Sofia pretty famous, actually. It's this cathedral. So let's check it out and see how it is on the inside. It's supposed to be really beautiful. Also, I read that this cathedral was planned by the same architect as the, uh, that did the Gum warehouse in Red Square in Moscow. So it's also interesting to know. Really impressive building. Glad I saw it. And the sun has come out, look at that. And a little boy with a Bulgarian flag. So this was, as I said, built to remember the liberation of Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire by the Russians. However, when it, when it uh, was World War II time in 1944, 
the USSR declared war on Bulgaria, ended up occupying it again, and uh, Bulgaria became a satellite state with a communist leadership. So that stayed until 1989, when Bulgaria transferred to a democracy as we know it today. So there's that. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Mighty impressive Orthodox Cathedral. It's probably up there on the most beautiful, impressing churches I've seen so far. Cathedrals, churches, you know what I mean. And I've seen a fair amount. And it looks even better on the side. Really glad to be back in this country. Even though I was only here once, I kind of missed it. <laughs> if that makes any sort of sense. But yeah, Sofia is definitely different than Varna. Uh, Varna is a coast town, a bit of a holiday town, and it's not as wealthy. And uh, here in the city center, next to this cathedral, Sofia is actually pretty nice, like really nicely taken care of. The streets are good. <laughs> Uh, the sidewalks are good, um, so it's definitely the money is spent here rather than in other cities, as it is always in different countries around the world. Uh, but you know what, it's the capital, they need to, of course, up it a little bit. I get it. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that the opera? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Let's check out what we got here. This seems to be an eternal flame. Um, let's try to read that. Is that an Armenian flag? I'm not wrong, right? This is an Armenian flag. Yeah, like, can really, can really sit things out here. No, but actually here, this is the Russian church. Typical Russian Orthodox style church, as you'll find them in, in Russia and other parts of ex-Soviet Union. And here, this is the square of it. And we read this house here, something with the Moscow Culture Center or something like Russian Culture Center. It kind of makes sense next to it. So, see if we can take a peek in here as well. Make sure you don't trip here. Yeah. It's a bit dangerous. Oh man. What's up with the stones here? <laughs> Maybe they're like, they're like rebuilding something? Maybe. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the coins in there. Oh uh, yeah, right. That's interesting. Never seen that before. This looks, this looks more like it. Thank you. Let's hope that one day we will be able to talk about Russia in a more positive way again. But still, it's always interesting to see those Orthodox churches because we just don't have them in the West. There are only very few, so I never leave out an opportunity to see one. Now, 
as I already mentioned, there are a lot of German and Austrian companies working in the Balkans. And here, Allianz, German insurance company. And here, Vienna Insurance Group, which for some reason is called Burstradtrau or something. We'll give them the electro electric things are painted in the color of the, <laughs> of the flag. That's kind of funny. It's a cool idea. It doesn't make it look so dull and gray. Why not paint it in some part patriotic colors? <laughs> so I don't know what this building is, but it's looking very nice. It's, it gives me vibes from Schönbrunn in Vienna. This is the Nationalen Ethnographsky Museum. The National Ethnographic Museum. And when we turn around, we have a big square with here the Grand Hotel Bulgaria. It's looking very cool. It's a grand hotel, yeah. Absolutely. There's another Grand Hotel, but this is the Grand Hotel Sofia. And this is the Bulgarskia Narodna Banka. So, a, the National Bank, which gives us the Levas. And somebody has had a bad day today. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He will not be happy. And man, I did really see a fair amount of expensive cars driving around here. Porsches, Mercedes, S-Class, and Dodge Challenger also saw those big trucks. So they have, there's a bit of money here as well. And just not spent all that equally, I suppose. There is an interesting clash of architecture in Sofia. So we have here this very, very old building in the center, which was probably, well, Byzantine times. Then you have <laughs> this guy waved at me. And this national bank, which is probably built in communist times, from the looks of it at least. So interesting clashes of architecture. Similar as in, in Bucharest, actually, if I'm honest. But what I do not see here in the old town center is like those massive communist buildings, like those massive socialist blocks or buildings they kind of kept it a bit out of the center at least here and is Dersky Svet does that mean the holy ministry or what <laughs> I'm not sure about that no probably not Narodna Spranje Sprani. Well, as you see, my Bulgarian sucks, but this is, I think, the parliament building. So, right here is Sofia, which this is the statue of her, and that gave the name to the city. And here is where they had hammer and sickle engraved and of course they took it off so behind me there are the soldiers guarding the president of Bulgaria I, if I may say it's not really all that obvious that he is here like it's a bit understated but still once you get a bit closer you know what's up yeah. like and in there is this building. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can. Like, can you can just walk in there? Uh, let's see what those guys do. Damn, they're really just walking. Really? Well, as long as nobody storms out, like, oh, oh no, there. You can't actually walk in here. Okay. So there we go. We're now at the Ministry of Education and Science. So that's also here. That, that is really cool. And that is this probably one of the oldest buildings of the city. That's a Mercedes fan. 
this is an absolute dream. Oh man. I am probably gonna say I have the same car as the guys who work for the government in Bulgaria. Yes, I have the same car. 211. Isn't it the best? Yeah, it's the best. Well, let's actually see what this is about. Is it in English? No, it's not. Is it something with Roman? It's a Roman? So it's actually from the Roman times. Man, that's old. That's Drives home how old the city is. Other cities haven't even been founded for a long time. Other countries haven't been founded for a long time. And this has already been here. Cool, isn't it? And there's my car driving away. Your car? The exact same one. <laughs> All right, let's check out the, this. <laughs> they all have the same car as me. That's so funny, man. <laughs> yeah, this is like a government yeah, car, so like you know? Kind of like a siren. Like a yeah, like a light, the light the bar. Light, the light bar. I don't know. The signal light. Just signal. Signal light, yeah. This is literally the same car. Has this got 314,000 Ks on it? I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is beautiful. I just learned this was, this is the only building remaining from the Roman times. Um, that makes it one of the oldest ones from fourth century. Wow. If those walls could speak, what would they tell us? So many wars, so many deaths. You people just never learn. That's what he would probably say. Okay, here's something we really didn't expect to see. A gym inside of the president palace. I don't know, is the president of Bulgaria so such a sporty person? Like, does he work out every day? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. But it's a bit of a random location, really. Over there is the Mosque of Sofia. And it goes to show how, like, diverse the city is. You have, like, all the religions here. And not even far apart, like, in a different district or anything. They're just right next to each other. <laughs> Look how freaking friendly those guys are here. For the world. Maybe I should just stand here and film the cars and wait until the next guy honks and waves. <laughs> so now, behind us, there is another old church. As you see, there are many of those. Um, but what we want to do right now is check out the mosque. And here, once again, Sophia, who gave the name of the city. All right. Let's cross the underpath. Oh man, look at all the souvenirs. Ah, I'm gonna buy a souvenir here, it's cheap. Pro travel tip, don't buy souvenirs next to the main attraction. Some might say don't buy even souvenirs at all, but I just can't resist, I guess. Oh man, you keep finding like those hidden gems in, in Sofia. You have another old building which looks probably, well, it looks Roman, sorta. And here is Sertica station, the metro station where we came from. Greta Petka. 
Greta Petka, sorry, <laughs> not Greta. <laughs> you keep finding those in the city. It's crazy how many are. Crazy, like they're all sprinkled in, like they they survived like all the years. Now we're in Scotland. We're in the Highlands now. Oh, so guys. Here you can buy some real Soviet hats. You know, mine actually broke apart, so I could buy one. However, in this I can never go to, for example, Latvia. They will kick my ass there. They so, probably will, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I find that kind of funny. Also here, KGB is watching you. What the fuck? Kalashnikov. Okay. Interesting. Here in the Soviet shop, I'm gonna call it Soviet shop now because they literally sold a Mac with Putin on it. <laughs> ah, I don't know about that. However, the lady gave me one leva off because she did not have the change. Like, they gave her a 20 and it cost 11, and she's like, Here, you have a 10. Like, it's fine. I'm like, No, I really want to pay it. No, it's fine. Just don't worry. I'm like, Wow. It does, that never happened to me anywhere. So much for getting scammed in Bulgaria. You know, people say they will scam you in Bulgaria. People say that in Austria. Well, here, you see, they actually give you money instead of scamming you. This is how it works here. All right, guys, so half my magnets. That cost me now a whopping 10 leva, which is five euros. Shout out to you, guys. Teaching in Bulgaria. Yeah, this is probably the teacher explaining. The statue of Sofia. He probably knows a lot more than me, of course. So, yeah, but hey. Oh, wow, it's a more fun than that. Look, more fun than this. Wow. So, this really is an ancient city. Who would have thought? I mean, I'm gonna lie, this is a really nice city so far. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really feeling the history. Like you can definitely feel it. You have those old foundations, you have a mosque, you have a beautiful cathedral which you can see now, but like it's all in walking distance, like so much diversity and culture everywhere. Really interesting, really interesting. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> This is how it looked uh, back in the okay, days. That is cool. Let's try it out. Though. Wow, that's that's impressive stuff. Wow, it's actually really on the point. Uh, how did the trash bin look like back then? It wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you can you can do it like a virtual tour via an app, and it will show you how the city used to look like back in the days. Look, it even chops out my fingers. That's cool. Wow. wow. Okay, that is really impressive. I do like that. Future! Just, just go there and then you press I and it tells you what it is. Holy man. Man, that, that's impressive stuff. Now we did see a couple of tourists, not many, admittedly. But that's probably due to the fact that it is February and it's not the season. But also, because Sofia is not that big of a tourist destination, which is a shame. I will not tell everybody to go to Sofia, because you can definitely see some history here. This is not only like for recreation and stuff, it really is interesting. So David is walking here in the historic city of 4th century leading up to the mosque. That's also a nice building. And also this looks like 
in Turkey, yeah, this. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's 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 very oriental orient style. Yeah. He matches the mosque here. And everywhere they have those old foundations, those yeah, ruins they found, yeah. that they found. Yeah. Who is this? Thomas Woodrow Wilson. This is uh, president of the United nice. States. 1856 to 1924. The 28th president, na SIG. United States. And a plane. A lot plane. <laughs> That's an airline that could give, give us sponsorships now. <laughs> We've learned it so much. So here uh, is the mosque. Do they like? Do they have a service in a mosque, or is it called different? I think it's called different. I think it's still called service, but it's di it's definitely different in the way it's done. Yeah, it's it's not the same. Like they have this call to prayer. Yeah. Where the guy prays like it, they used to pray from up there, but now the the speakers do it, of course. Yeah. And then the people all come and they pray. This is how it works, I think. So let's see if we can get inside there. And maybe we can film something. And a Bulgarian tram. been in a mosque only once in Vienna and that was long ago so it was cool to experience that because I think that is what religion is about that everybody is welcome and everybody can just take a look at how people do things uh, and I'm not a spiritual person at all you know but I think this is what it's about and not about like some fanatics that you know do horrendous stuff to other people just because of their religion here you have a random intersection in Sofia, Bulgaria. A old tram, probably from the communist times. Kind of looks like the trains in Vienna. Are you really? Yeah, it has yeah, similarities. Yeah, yeah, they're also red right in Vienna. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a Yugoslav tram, I don't know. They literally have a synagogue 150, 200 meters next to a mosque in Sofia. So yeah, where do you normally see that? Not, not, no, not, not, not often. No, usually they're like far apart in different districts and stuff. And here it's all very compact, like all the religions are. And I like it because it, it, it kind of represents we can all live together. We can all live together. You don't have to hate yeah. everybody because of religion, you know. Yeah. So it's a nice message. Absolutely. Oh, there, it is. there it is. That is now the Jewish synagogue of Sofia. The largest Sephardic synagogue in Europe. <laughs> the work was of, of the Austrian no. architect. No. I mean, I don't know this guy, but <laughs> an Austrian architect yeah, that's did cool, it. Yeah. Interesting. However, it does look close to me. Is this the entrance though? It isn't no entry, no. <laughs> this is not it, no. Oh, let me get some books in Bulgarian. You know. I mean I can read it, I just don't understand anything. <laughs> yeah. But you know, this is uh, your first country which uses the Cyrillic alphabet. That's true, right? that's the first one, yeah. Well I'll give you another fact. Did you know that Cyrillic was invented in Bulgaria? Really? Yeah. It, they, it was invented in Bulgaria, yeah. And uh, that's why they had the magnet with the alphabet. Yeah probably. Uh, and like I don't know. Uh, the old tram is making some noise here, I'm sorry. I don't know how the, the Russians got, got you know, into the Cyrillic because they kind of made it popular, but it, it was invented in Bulgaria. Yeah. Well, that's another fact that's for you. Cool fact, yeah. Okay, 
Well, I found pretty cool is, you know, you have these buildings and then out of nowhere it's been very old and just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a lot of character, this city. Like, so many different clashes of architectures and cultures. And yeah. It's all, like, in the center compact together. That's really interesting. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is like, what is this here? Nazionala Elektricetska Commandiria, something with the the National Electricity Commander. Oh, that's like. Aha, uh -huh, now we're at the back of this of this uh, ah, yeah. government yeah, yeah. building again. So far we had a good day yeah. and we're looking forward to seeing more of this beautiful city. So see you later guys. Bye bye. We're really turning up the Bulgarian mode here. Absolutely. So that was our first day in Sofia, we saw a lot already and I will see you tomorrow when we go on to new adventures and see what we can uh, still all explore in this big city. Okay. Still a lot to see so have a good night and uh, see you later. <laughs> All right, have a good night. <laughs>